Yo, what's good, Zaderhood? Bringing you guys a video. If you're under a rock, if you aren't awake yet, obviously big news dropped today. Microsoft bought Activision for $70 billion, which is fucking insane to just say the least in that standpoint. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk about it and, and give my thoughts. Um, it's mainly going to be about COD, but just why it's a big move in general. Um, so literally right off the bat, uh, it, it $70 billion transaction. Um, good news is that Activision CEO, uh, I, I don't know his last name. I know his name is Bobby, but as soon as this goes in full swing, he will not be a part of the process of moving over. To Microsoft, which is a big, big W for um, the the whole community. Um, so I was just kind of going over the tweets a little bit, just so you guys could look at it if you want. Um, obviously, people think that like something's gonna happen right now in the moment. Nothing's even starting until June of 2023, and let's be honest, um, I I don't expect them to make anything crazy. I, they'll have announcements here and there, but I expect like the first big thing to happen within the first six to twelve months of this. Once once it hits June twenty twenty three, um, they got the rights to obviously COD, Overwatch, Diablo. I mean, e even Candy Crush. So it's it's just crazy uh, to wake up to this news. It's like wow, like this is actually happening. Um, but for Call of Duty, man, I, I think it's the biggest thing for Call of Duty. I think Call of Duty needed this. Uh, I think when whether, whether you play pubs or, or competitive or watch competitive, I think Call of Duty ran the smoothest and was the best when it was with Xbox, when Xbox had priority over it. I'm not saying that. I don't think the whole you get early access, blah, 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 and stuff like that really matters nowadays. I know back then it was like a big thing. Xbox had exclusive rights. PlayStation had... Uh, the rights for a little bit but this is really really good uh, they obviously got the rights back to MLG Major League Gaming um, I'm, I'm hoping that with this integration you kind of see Call of Duty take a path like Halo does uh, the competitive format everything around it with Halo is just way 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 better than COD is right now obviously the CDO has a lot to play into that with the 25 million dollar league spot blah 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 stuff like that um sorry if i'm kind of rambling here it's just i'm trying to touch on a uh, multitude of, of topics here but man it's it's just i i would love to see i mean we could dude we could even see overwatch make a big comeback w with this thing going down um it, it's just funny to me like i was saying earlier that people are really sitting there and expect something to happen like immediately like oh they're you know the people are saying oh fix the fix Warzone, fix Vanguard, stuff like that. It's like, stuff like that's not going to happen. You're not going to see anything until June of 2023. Like, this... We're in January of 2022. Like, we have a long time. Um, obviously, things could go wrong. It could fall through. Something could happen. Uh, you never really know. But for Call of Duty, man, I, I, I do think this is a, a big step in the right direction. I would also love to see, you know, for, for pub stompers and people that play pubs, for... You know, you could see old Call of Duties come back on the Game Pass. I, I, I don't see why not. There's going to be a ton of games coming to Game Pass, but Call of Duty is going to have... You could have MW2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 1, you know, it, maybe it brings the base back. I mean, obviously some of them are, are hacker-infested like crazy, and I, they, they can't do too much about that, but that would be awesome instead of, you know, going on Steam or, or Battle.net and looking for let's say model for two and it's 50 bucks it's like dude i'm, I'm not spending 50 bucks to play a, a game you know that's already outdated that's hacked and I, I gotta spend 50 bucks on that it's like it's already an, an arm and a leg pull to try and get me to buy vanguard for 60 bucks um but yeah i just think the competitive aspect would be really 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 cool with this integration uh, like i said i think it was the best when it you know when microsoft had the reins on it uh, i was not expecting this this is huge man there's just so much that can happen with this warzone can be a completely different game uh Call of Duty's going forward could be different if we go back to that mlg style format i mean heck even mlg.tv can come back but I just wanted to get on really quick, just kind of ramble. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, about this move, if you guys like it, if you guys don't like it. 
Another thing, too, I wanted to say is I, I know people are going to say, oh, Xbox is superior than PlayStation now, blah, blah, blah. It's not like Microsoft's going to completely cut off PlayStation because let's be honest, uh, PS5 and PS4 sales, Call of Duty is top three, I think, in both for the last year. So that would just be stupid on their part. to. I, I, they're not going to do that anyway, obviously. Like when Microsoft had the rights to the old Call of Duties, obviously Xbox took reign over over PlayStation and PC. They sold the most copies. They got the early access, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Competitive was played on the Xbox. When it went to PlayStation, you know, Xbox was kind of less superior than PC. Now it's on PC, so... I mean, it, it, it's a good move, though. I am glad that they are getting rid of the CEO of Activision with all that, um, you know, the lawsuit and how he treated employees and, and, you know, stuff behind the scenes. I'm not going to really dabble in that too much. But, yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, whether you like the move, whether you don't, what you're excited about. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, man. That would mean a lot. I'm going to have this video dropping today, and then tomorrow I'm going to have a video uh, regarding SM2, the Call of Duty that is in the works. That's a huge all-in-one COD. So if you guys do want to check that out, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and have a good one. Peace.